Hello guys, I'm Hayden, and I am subbing for this channel. Um, for those of you guys who know me, I'm back as a sub here. Um, if you go, for those of you guys who do not know me, my name is Hayden. Um, username Hayden Shyboy on my own account, which I'm going to put below. And you can sub me there if you haven't, but honestly, I'm pretty sure most of you guys know me. I've been everywhere, and I'm kind of just getting back into YouTube and, you know, good stuff. So, ah. Uh, Sorry, super hyper guys. This week's topic uh, for week 12. Wow, you guys are week 12 now? My god. Is um, train chasers and FTM lovers. Now, I'm not exactly sure uh, exactly what that means. I actually didn't really watch the other two videos. Sorry. Um, and I should have made this video yesterday, but I was at the hospital. But I'm all good now, so whatever. Um, so, what I'm going to interpret from this is um, what I've basically been hearing about tranny chasers um tranny chasers usually end up being feminine either straight or lesbian identified women who have a interest in trans guys have a curiosity and tend to chase after them um now some of these women um seem to be just doing it for the experimental cause or just for the oh my god I hooked up with a trans guy kind of a deal um, I'm not really fond of that. I mean, they're not really my type, and I'm never going to get myself in that situation, but I have seen a lot of straight FCM guys, um, you know, they, tr they try to get straight women, um, and it doesn't really work out because, you know, the straight woman's usually used to a very heterosexual relationship where, you know, all of the heterosexualness is already there and intact, and, uh, with trans guys, it's, it's more of, um, you know, kind of a physical and emotional kind of difficulty. I mean, it, it takes, if, if you identify as a straight woman and you're going to go with a trans guy and you're doing this to have a complete heterosexual relationship, I mean, the uh, the emotional chemistry may be completely heterosexual, but there's always going to be uh, snags you run into in the bedroom or you may be out with people if they're not completely um, passable as male. So, um... I've seen a lot of those situations not work out, and I actually have seen a, a couple that do work out, and so I'm not going to like be like, oh my god, stay away from the straight women, lesbian, lipstick, FTM, lover and chasers, um, but I mean, I guess it depends, uh, a lot of straight trans guys just want to pass his mail, and hot looking chick comes by and wants to be with them, and we're going to go for it, so... I mean, I identify as a gay, trans, queer guy, so I, I go for the other trans boys and the dykey lesbians, but they don't really like me so much anymore, but the, the, the trans guys do. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to stop smiling. Um, but yeah, um, I mean, there's good train chasers and there's bad train chasers. Those ones just want the experience, and there's some that are just really interested, and maybe that's what's for them. Um, I know a lot of train chasers that just think trans guys are hot, and they're just like, oh my god. And basically, tranny chasing is their, like, sexual orientation, almost. Um, I'm actually really happy, because I just got, like, one of my exes, like, looking at this one trans guy's page, and she's like, oh my god, he's so hot. I'm just like, yes! I, I kind of like it when we, like, convert the lesbians to liking us. That makes me happy. And, um, there's kind of a little thing going on with, well, if you're a lesbian and you're like a trans guy, does that make you straight? Should you change your orientation? It really, that doesn't matter. Um, the popular L word, what is it? It's a phrase. Ah, sexuality is fluid. It is! Sexuality is very fluid. You're going to like who you're going to like. I mean, most people have this ideal person built up in their head, and you actually almost never end up being with that ideal person. I mean, me personally, like, psh I got, like, this chiseled-out trans guy in my mind, like, all hot and sexy with the top surgery scars. They're all sexy. But am I probably going to end up with that? No, I'm probably going to end up with this, like, little short guy around my height, you know, who wears glasses and is super cute and just has a nice personality. And, you know, I find him attractive in my own way. That's usually what happens, you know. You fall for her, you fall for her, you know. And I don't really think... I mean, there's such a huge thing about, you know, sexual orientation, you know, gay rights, gay rights, and all that good stuff, but for some reason when it comes to trans, um, and trying to identify what you are now if you want to be with a trans guy, and you've usually identified as, as lesbian, um, I really don't think it matters. I mean, 
I know a lot of people make a big deal out of it, like, oh my god, you're straight now, especially the, the, the heterosexual community is totally lost on what the hell we're doing. <laughs> Lesbians hooking up with trans guys, and they have no idea. But, you know what, if you like somebody, you're gonna be with them. And you should keep whatever sexual orientation that you have, you know? And, you know, it's, it's not a, really a good idea to box yourself into one sexual orientation, because... You don't really know. I mean, I was completely out as lesbian. And then I started seeing gay trans guys. I mean, I was like, whoa, wait, trans guys can be gay? I thought they were all straight he-men. Wow, I could have identified as this forever ago. It would have made so much more sense. So, I mean, it's not great to box yourself into something because, you know, you don't know what you're really going to like in a couple of years, months, maybe next week. So... Um, Chain Chasers, FCM lovers, I am welcome to them. Um, I mean, I usually just go for the trans guys, but when it comes to, you know, everybody else, I mean, if you want to experiment, that's cool. If you want to experiment just to experiment and be like, oh my god, it's the trans guy, not really fond of them, not really a fan. Um, I've seen a lot of guys get their heart broken from girls like that, but, um, there's also a lot, a lot of Train Chasers that that's... That's just what they want. <laughs> so, um, for the most part, I like them. They're great. Um, makes me feel better. You know, there's somebody out there that wants me because I'm a tranny. But then again, you know, y you shouldn't have people wanting you because you're trans. Maybe just more of who you are. But, um, that is my summary of everything. That was kind of a long summary. So, in summary of that summary... I like them, they're usually pretty okay, don't like the experimental ones, but I don't deal with them personally, mm, probably not going to, but um, hey, if there's people that want to be with us, hell yeah, um, alright, that was my spiel, I really hope that made sense to you guys, because I can't remember anything I just said, I am like, sorry, I'm on like, medication, <laughs> Um, and this is good medication, this is, this is not illegal stuff, this is good stuff, so, definitely not druggy. So yeah, um, next week, <laughs> next week, sorry if I interpreted that totally wrong, you guys, and haven't really been in collabs for a little bit of a while, um, next week is a free topic. Wow. I am about to go off on that one next week, I kind of want to make the video right now, but then again, I don't know what to talk about. Cool. These topics are going to be awesome next couple weeks. Alright. Um, yeah. So. Have a good next week, guys. Um, I know mine's going to suck. So. Pray for me. Alright. Bye, guys.